Hi there, friends. Welcome to my Stampin' Peace studio. I'm Mary Nave. Today is February 29th at 2.29 in the afternoon, Eastern time, I should say. Um, so it's 2.29 on 2.29. So happy leap day to everybody. Um, if there's any um, leap day babies out there, February 29th um, birthday, I wish you a very special happy birthday, especially because you only get the official date every four years. Um, there is somebody on my team. So big shout out to Michelle on her February 29th birthday. Um, thus, 229, February 29th. That's the reason I moved my Facebook Live from 2 p.m., to 2.29 p.m. Eastern Time today, just to have a little bit of leap day fun. Um, in addition to that, <clears throat> I am going to be using um, Shaded Spruce, a fun green um, with the word leap. We often think of leapfrog. Um, there was, uh, on the Today Show this morning, they were featuring uh, people of all ages who celebrate a February 29th birthday. And there was a grandfather and grandson and their way of celebrating every four years is to do everything green, frogs, dress like frogs, wear frog t-shirts, um, but it's all about green frogs on their special day. So. Anyways, I am going to, and I'll just quickly show you, I've got a set of six cards here. Each of these cards is different, and each was made with a piece of four inch by six inch designer series paper. And I'm going to show you how to cut each of those and lay out that card sketch for you. And because it is leap day and the big thing about leap day or leap year is that people born on February 29th get to um, celebrate a birthday. I'm making birthday cards today. And you know, I'm just looking at myself here and I'm thinking something doesn't look right. I didn't put any um, eyebrows on or mascara on today. So I guess I did my um, makeup, what, 80%? <laughs> So I kept thinking something doesn't look right, but that's what it is. Oh, well. So I, um, you know, squirrel moment there. But anyways, let's get started right away because I'm really excited to show you these six quick and easy card sketches today. While I'm flipping my camera around, would you please share this live video and invite others to join us for some creative inspiration and perhaps even some new card sketches? Okay, before we start making the six cards, I want to show you this beautiful designer series paper. A quick reminder that today is the very last day to um, take adv advantage of Celebration, Stampin', Stampin' Up's biggest promotion every year. And um, this is a paper I got free with a $50 order and uh, received free. So it is called Sunny Days. And let me just show you the fun prints. I don't know why I didn't use this sooner. Oh, I guess this goes that way. No, this way. It's raindrops, clouds and raindrops. Um, a flowers here, a pretty plaid on the back. Fun strawberries, crushed curry butterflies, 
I love this page. This might be my, well, I don't know. It might be my favorite one in there. This is um, lots of fun sun prints. Cute classic cherry print. And I love this on the back. Isn't that a great background um, sheet? And then this is the sheet we'll be using today to make our six cards. Now, each of these cards starts out with a four inch by six inch piece of designer series paper. And these are all vertical cards. So I have a, and this is a somewhat directional DSP. If you're using, if you're using non-directional DSP, it doesn't matter which way you're cutting. If you are using a directional DSP, because we are making six vertical cards, I've got my top of the DSP and the bottom of the DSP, and I'm going to turn that 90 degrees so I the top of my DSP is now on my left edge. And I'm going to cut this at six inches. And then I'm going to take those two six inch by 12 inch pieces, layer them because the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer is awesome and you can cut through two layers of DSP at the same time. And I always like to check my last piece. Sometimes they can, the measurements of the paper can be off by a smidgen, but that looks really good. Then I'm going to take sets of two and I'm going to cut all of these pieces down to four inch by five and a quarter. So I'm at the five and a quarter inch mark, all right? And I'm cutting off three quarters of an inch from the bottom. And I'm doing that with all six pieces. This is a great way to make several cards at once, um, maybe to build up your stash of cards. Now, I'm going to just set these aside and pull them out one at a time. So for each card, I'll be using one four inch by five and a quarter inch piece, and then that four inch by three quarter inch piece that I cut off from the bottom. So on, oh, I don't have my card bases right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. So for each of these, I'm using a black card base and I've got a white cardstock for the inside. So I'm just going to focus on one card at a time because I want you to see how each of these pieces is cut, all right? Remember, each one started with a four by six piece, piece of DSP. For this first card, I'm going to cut with this in the vertical position, I'm going to cut in half at two inches, okay? It's in the vertical position, cutting at two inches. Then I'm going to cut off one and three quarters inch from the bottom of the left side. Okay, one and three quarters inch. And I like to lay them out right here as I'm cutting. And then that strip from the right side, I'm going to cut one and three quarter inch off of the top of the strip. And now I'm going to adhere these pieces to my card. Better bring those whites back in so I don't forget. So I'm going to start by adding the white to the inside of my card. And then I'm going to be adding 
each of these pieces. So for the first card, I'm going to adhere them just like this. Okay, I flipped over those small pieces. And I think the easiest way to um, have equal spacing around each of your pieces is to use multi-purpose glue on each piece. Just kind of set it in place. Don't pat it all the way down yet. So I'm really, the point now is just getting the pieces in place quickly. And then I'll go back and do any adjustments of moving or sliding the pieces around since I'm, a, since I'm able to do that since I'm using the liquid glue, the multi-purpose glue. Gives me a little extra time to work, to slide or move things into place as I wish. And when I feel like I have everything in place, the next thing I'm going to do is just drop my silicone mat or you know something flat, maybe your stamp and pierce mat, whatever. And then I'm just going to pat down. I don't want to go over it like this, um, not this way and not on top, just because I don't want to take the chance that these things are going to be slip sliding around, right? I want those pieces to stay in place. The next thing I'm going to do is to adhere this three quarter inch strip to the inside. And you can decide which side you want it on. I'm going to use the rainbow side, and I think rainbows, you know, we see in the sky, so I'm gonna put this at the top of my basic white cardstock. Okay, so there's card number one. I'm going to go through and do the sketch for each of the six cards, and then we'll go back through and add a sentiment um, and a gingham bow. So for card number two, I'm going to bring my paper trimmer back in. And one of each of those pieces, I started with four by six. And I've got a five, four inch by five and a quarter inch piece that I'm going to cut in half in both directions. So in the vertical position, I'm cutting it two inches. I'm going to stack those left over right, and then half of the five and a quarter inch is two and five eighths, two and five eighths. You wanna make sure that you've got the edges of those two pieces all matched up so that both are cut in the correct place, right down the middle, okay? So putting together, whoops, where is my card base has got buried under my paper trimmer. So again, basic black card base. I'm adding basic white to the inside. And now I'm going to adhere these pieces with some multi-purpose glue. For my card, I'm going to use the flower side on all four pieces. If you want to switch yours up and flip a couple of them over, that would be awesome as well. Just a matter of personal preference.
And you can take any one of these sketches and make me make all six of your cards the same single sketch. But I wanted to take this time to show you six different card sketches. They're all easy. They all use um, the very same supplies. The only thing that's different is how we cut that four inch by six inch piece. And then I've got this flower piece and I'm gonna stick with the flower theme and add this to the bottom of the inside of my card. You can decide if you want it to go all the way to the bottom of the white cardstock or if you want to leave a little bit of the white showing, okay? So that's card number two, card sketch number two. All right, for card sketch number three, again, four by six, I'm going to take, and I cut off three quarter inch from the bottom, I'm going to, oops, that's not what I wanna do. I'm going to cut, with this in the vertical position, I'm going, going to cut at one and a quarter inch increments, okay? So one and a quarter. One and a quarter. And one and a quarter again. And you'll see that on each of these card sketches, I'm using every bit of that four inch by six inch piece of DSP. So out of a full sheet of 12 by 12 DSP, there is absolutely no waste, which I love. You know how much I love DSP and how much I love creating with it. And if I can use every bit of it, even better, even better. Yes, Tanya, be sure to um, watch the replay from the beginning because I'm showing you six different card sketches today and we're on card sketch number three, okay? And I also like to, when I cut strips like this or any pieces, I like to make sure that they still fit together as a pu puzzle. In other words, that the images match up. And that's the way I like to adhere them to my card front. So again, use that liquid glue, multi-purpose glue, so that we can move these around. I think when you have three strips or three pieces of something um, <clears throat> that you're trying to evenly space, I prefer to put on the left and the right and then the middle or the center piece last. And I think that looks pretty good, even spacing. <coughs> and I'm going to drop my silicone mat on top and just press down with a flat hand to adhere those pieces really well. Now I've got these two pieces left. On this one, I'm going to flip it over to the opposite side and just place it down here. Then with this very narrow quarter inch strip that is left, I'm going to add a little bit of glue, use it very sparingly. And I'm just going to 
adhere it, <coughs> excuse me, to the right side of that basic white cardstock on the inside of my card. So again, I used every bit of the original four by six piece for this. Tanya, you like that tip about using the silicone craft sheet? I'm glad. All right, moving on to card number four. For this one, again, start by four by six, cut off three quarters inch from the bottom. <coughs> and with this, excuse me, I need to get a drink of water. So I'm going to cut this piece of four inch by five and a quarter inch DSP at the three inch mark. Or in other words, I'm cutting off one inch from the right edge. And this is how I will adhere it to my card front. And look how easy this is. I'm using all of the same I'm using one single sheet of 12 by 12 DSP. All of my card bases are the same color and have the same white insert. So it makes prep really easy. <clears throat> it also shows that you can make great cards with limited supplies. You don't have to have every single color and you don't have to have um, multiple papers and embellishments and layers and layers. You can make wonderful, simple cards when you have some good layouts and um, products that you like to work with. Now it's pretty easy to adhere these two pieces down. with any adhesive, but I have my multi-purpose glue handy, so I'm gonna keep going with that. And the two pieces do meet up. There's no space between those two pieces. <clears throat> and then on the inside of the card, I'm going to be adding this. I'm gonna flip over and use the rainbow side and adhere that to the top of my basic white cardstock. Isn't it interesting how just a little small strip of DSP on the inside of a card makes it so fun? And we're gonna stop right there. Well, again, I just wanna walk you through all of the six different sketches and then we will go back and do the embellishing afterwards. Now, the last two card sketches, I don't need to do any more cutting of my DSP. I'm going to adhere the four inch by five and a quarter inch piece to the front. I'm going to flip over the other one and I'm going to adhere this near the top. I'll see in the top half of the cart front, just like that, okay? And then for the last card sketch, same thing, I'm going to, oh, I think I forgot to put a white one in that. I did. 
let me go back because if I don't go back, I will forget. Again. When I made my samples, I actually cut all six card bases, cut the white inserts, and added them to the inside of the cards before I even cut my DSP. So that's another way to um, work the assembly line, I'll say, and have that part done before you start cutting all the DSP for the different sketches. Again, I'm going to flip that three quarter inch strip over to feature the rainbow side. Who would have thought this paper would be so fun, right? When I first looked at this, I was like, eh, it's nice, but whatever. And now that I've used it, I love it. <laughs> and I love it with the black cardstock base. And put that right in the center. So earlier we did a card where we had the three quarter inch strip near the bottom. We've had it in the top half and here we're putting it basically right in the center of our card. So let me quickly show you, we'll run through these six again, and then we will add some sentiments and some gingham ribbon, and then I'll show you the samples I made also, because they're, they're slightly different. So here is sketch number one. Sketch number two, sketch number three, and when I put, um, oh, that's the sample, um, right? Yes. Um, when I put each of these, or put this video and the photos of the cards up on my blog, I will have um, cutting directions for each of these six cards. So you're kind of getting the, the whopper of a video demonstration and blog post doing six different sketches. So sketch number four, number five, and number six. And as I said, I'm making birthday cards today because that's the big thing about um, Leap Day is celebrating the people who were born on February 29th. And with each of these sketches, it's really, um, there's plenty of, um, what do I want to say? Um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to use. Anyways, you can move everything around and place the embellishments, the sentiments anywhere you like. Um, they pretty much work with any size sentiment. So feel free to do that. Okay. So I'm going to put that happy birthday there. And I went ahead and pre-made six black and white gingham bows. Here's a tip too. If you're doing a lot of cards and they each are using a bow or some kind of small punched piece or something like that, you can go ahead and put them on a strip of mini glue dots. And that way, they already have um, the glue dot behind them, and you're all set when you're ready to add them to your cards. And you can see, I'm using small, a small sentiment, but when I show you my samples, those use a larger sentiment. So you can see um, how they each work a little differently, but it doesn't matter the size. They all work 
with these sketches. Sometimes it's a matter of just moving them around to finding the placement, whoops, the placement that appeals to you most. This one, I think I'm going to go at an angle. Just add a little fun twist on that. And I'm going to put the bow right there. You know what I thought of too would be like a superb, if any of you have them left because they are retired, but a superb embellishment for these. Do you remember the matte black dots? I think they were, there were at least two, maybe three sizes of the black Mac dots. And um, I loved them. I loved them. And darn, I don't have any left, but, but that's okay. I have plenty of other fun embellishments to try. Now, before I put um, <clears throat> my sentiment on this card, I'll probably go up here. I'm going to... And I want to pay attention to where I'm, um, let's see here, uh, to approximately where I'm going to be putting that sentiment. Because <clears throat> I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and wrap it around the inside of the card front. and adhere it to the card right on top of that seam where the two pieces of DSP come together. You see that? I covered up that seam straight on the back. Okay, and I'm also going to then, where they overlap, put a dimensional. That will help hold them in place. Plus, it will help to hold the sentiment in place. And you know how I am about hiding seams and things like that. And I found that this was much easier to do than to take it around and tie it and then tie the bow. This is... I don't know, some people would call this the cheater way. It's not a cheater way, it's a smart way, right? And it gives a really nice, clean look to do it this way. And then I'm just going to put my bow right there underneath the sentiment. And then for this one... Now these last two look similar. The real the only real difference is where I have that three quarter inch strip. And again, I'm going to put this at an angle. Since this is rather small, I think it draws more attention to the sentiment when I put it at an angle rather than just putting it right on top. But either, either way is certainly acceptable. There's no wrong way to do it. Actually, I wonder how this, oops, there, well, it's gonna have to stay because I tore my DSP a little bit. What I was thinking is, I wonder how it would look right there. I'm not sure. Okay, and I'm on my sixth card. We'll take another quick look at these six, and then I will show you my sample cards, which use a different sentiment. Now I'm trying to decide here. Do I want to go straight on this one? Something like that. Or do I want to go at an angle again? I think at this time I'm going to go straight across. And then I'm going to add my bow right here. 
almost to the vertical position, but it kind of lines up with the angle here. Oh, what I didn't tell you, goodness me, um, what I didn't tell you is where I got the sentiment from and the die cut. It's from the Something Fancy bundle. This is in the annual catalog. Something Fancy, I love the sentiments, has some um, fun fonts in there. And then the set of dies is wonderful because every single one of these sentiments will fit in at least one of these um, dies. Plus, you can use these dies for sentiments from your other stamp sets. Or they can even be used as maybe backgrounds to showcase um, a stamped image, something like that. But it's a great set. I love it. So, again, sketch one completed. Sketch two. Sketch three. Four. Five. And six. And what a nice... Um, gift this could make. If you want to give somebody cards, we all need birthday cards, right? Everybody has a birthday. So of course, everybody could use birthday cards. Now I want to show you the others. I think I got them a little mixed up here. So let me go back. I want to show you what my sample cards look like. Okay. Now, for these, I used the sentiment. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. And how many of you forget birthdays? Or I don't necessarily forget them. I have them on my mind, and I think, oh, I need to send a card for so-and-so's birthday. But it's three weeks out, right? Well, then, all of a sudden, the day is upon me, and I get it in the mail, and they're going to receive it late. So this covers me in that case. I try not to be, but I am at times running a little behind. So I used a larger sentiment here, still with a birthday theme for Leap Day, and um, used one of the larger dies from the Something Fancy bundle. Same black and white gingham ribbon. Do you want to see them side by side? Maybe you'd like to see that. Let's do that. So here's what we made. Here's my sample. Okay. Here's what we made and my sample. Facebook Live sample. So you can see that the sketches work with any size sentiment. Um, <clears throat> and of course, I'm sure you have lots of ideas of different embellishments you can use. I hope you've enjoyed today's um, Facebook Live. Like I said, I will have um, the video, the photos, and um, all of the cutting dimensions for each of the six different sketches when I put it on my blog. I'm not sure it will be there tonight. I will do my best, um, but it may have to be tomorrow. I am planning, oh, Kathy asked um, what sentiment, uh, where, what stamp set did the sentiment come from? They both came from the Something Fancy stamp set, as well as the dies. I used this one and the middle size of this shape, okay? All right, who would like to um, receive a card made in today's Facebook Live? If so, please type in the comments now Leap Day, Leap Day, L-E-A-P-D-A-Y, Leap Day.
these um, sketches also will work very well with probably just about any of our Facebook, our um, Facebook, DSPs, any of our DSPs, okay? I hope you um, gain some creative inspiration today, um, some new project ideas, card sketches, and maybe even some helpful tips for your stamping and paper crafting. I look forward to seeing you next week on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Shireen, you're watching from South Africa. Wow! That, that makes me so happy. You have no idea. It is so cool to see that um, doing something like this, I can reach people right here in my own community, my own state, my own country, but also people around the world. How fun, how fun. You made my day. All right, Leap Day is the um, phrase to comment on if you would like to have your name put into the drawing to receive one of the cards made in today's Facebook Live. Have a great Thursday, and thank you for your well wishes. I am feeling better, not 100%, but I would say 85 90% um, from healing from the sore throat and cold and the whole bit. Um, and my back is doing better. I do have an MRI schedule for Monday afternoon, and then I'm hoping to be able to get the steroid shot soon after that. Um, but you know, it's progress. All right. Take care, everybody, and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.